The first line of defense when someone clinches you is you don't have to clinch. Okay, does everybody understand that? Yes, I see it all the time. They're like, all right, let's clinch. And they're like, okay, let's clinch. No, if it's, kinda, uh, it's like knife fighting, stick fighting. If you're not good at knife fighting, don't go into a knife fight. Okay, so if I have uh, one, two this time. Okay, we're going to have the, the, the game that the person facing to the window wants to clinch him. Now, does that mean he has to go one, two, three? No, he might just go one and clinch. Or he's just working his way in and weaving in and touching and getting that. His job is to not let him. So let's say that I get to here. Can he just move the arm off? Okay. What else can he do? Wave high. Wax on, wax off. All right. Because he did this one first. What's the first one you did? He did that one, right? What did we learn before? Go do it again. Do it again. Right? So I have an elbow to still use. He may not want that as the first choice if the other guy knows it. He just may want to clear it out of the way because the second he clears that, he has the clinch on the inside. So if I go in here and I just get the clinch, does everybody understand? Sure. So this is what it would look like. He wants to clinch, he doesn't. Sure. Stop, too long. See, there, now that was, to me that was a clinch because the person grabbed him and the guy hung in there. They were, they were inter connected for a little while, right? They got clinched. So if he wound up touching my neck, and I just simply, from here, went from here to here, do I still hold on to him? No, that's the whole thing. You don't want to keep holding on to him. You know what the easiest way to not get clinched is? Clint. Push the chest. As silly as that sounds, because what everyone will do is grab the arm, touch the arm, go to the neck, push him away. That one got rid of him. So a lot of times when he comes in to touch, I'm literally just keeping him away because he needs to be in a bent arm range. Okay, so if they go at it slow. Why slow? We don't want finger pokes in the eye by accident, right? Okay. And I don't know if you could see Roman. Roman's basically staying as center line as possible and pushing against the center line. Now, time. There's one formula that he's doing. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose. He's making sure that when he grabs, see, there's one on, but he doesn't have a second one. The one that's not touched is always the one that defends. The other side that's attacked is the one that can push. It doesn't make sense right now. He grabs here. I push here. Then he, well, just grab again. Now this hand has nothing to do. So I'm making sure that the one arm that isn't grabbed is getting compressed uh, protection. And then the other side is driving. So watch it one more time, and you guys will practice. I'm just playing the game. Sometimes different, different hand attack. And time. Does everyone see that? Now, the last one, there was only one thing I would have done any differently was it was such a high hit, I would have just wiped it over. That was the only difference. He was so at an advantage up here that this, see how my arm is straight? He still has it. And uh, this is one of our rotations later on. Because of the way the arm is right there, I just, I just flip it over. Everybody got it? Okay, everybody face your partner. Okay, In, uh, one side initiates the clinch, the other side doesn't allow it. Ready, begin. Yes,